What's going on you guys? This is MXKDI here, another Dell Optiplex 5040. This is a small phone factor. I'm upgrading today the memory and we're going to be upgrading the video card and a hard drive to solid state drive. I'm sure you guys how to do that. So, so what you're going to do is remove the side cover panel here. There's a little clip right here. Press it down to remove the side cover right here like this. And uh, we're going to take off the front cover bezel right here. To do that, there's little clips right here. Holds on, be really, really gently, just press them up really gently to remove the front cover basil. And it's a 5000 Optiplex 5040. This is a small foam factor. So we're going to go ahead and first start off from the hard drive. Upgrading the hard drive and show you how to upgrade the hard drive. If you guys are not going to do solid state drive, just upgrading the hard drive to solid state drive. So you're going to disconnect right here the SATA power. And you press it down to the right right side right here like this to remove the hard drive 3.5 inch and it's holed by the little clips right here it's a plastic caddy here like this 3.5 inch show you to install another one in here really easy really quick it's got a half terabyte we're gonna go install it to one terabyte like this and Install the SATA cable like this, really quick. Just like that. And uh, to do Soul State Drive, is, uh, you guys have to buy the caddy online, a little plastic caddy. It's for a Dell, it's a, for a Soul State Drive 2.5 inch, doesn't matter what kind you use. It's for a Dell. And first you're gonna do is disconnect the hard drive, connect the, disconnect the SATA and power. And the plastic caddy comes right out the hard drive and you just install it really quick really easy and it clips right in just like that and and you connect the stadium power for the solar state drive just like that, really easy, really quick, and it's a solid state drive, 2.5 inch. And first off, we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the memory, so let's go ahead and remove that again, show you guys how to do that. And there's a little clip right here, secure clip. It's gonna be on the right side, means locked. You press it to the left with your finger like this to release it, the lock. And uh, you're gonna disconnect, uh, you don't have to disconnect the optical drive right here. And it comes right out. And we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the memory. Uh, DDR3 1600, non ECC and buffer memory. I'm gonna be installing. So again, DDR3 1600, non ECC and buffer memory. And as uh, you're gonna install it first in the uh, white slots, see right here's the number one. That's a white slot right here. Number two is the the right one right here. So you guys can see the white slot where it's marked. And you're gonna hear two clicks, that means the memory installed properly. It's installed. So we installed the memory. Now we're gonna go ahead and upgrade the video card. Uh, I'm gonna install guys is a AMD Radeon HD757. This is a low profile video card with the low profile bracket for the small form factor. Uh, I'll show you guys uh, how many inches this is. And it only measures around over six inches, something like that. Let's see, yeah, it's about six and a half, almost seven inches. But all the video cards will not fit, and actually, the wide width of it, it's about the heat sink. It's uh, about a less than an inch, half inch right here. Because the power supply right here, the, the PCI, PCI X6 inch slot right here, is too close right here. It's way too close to the, I'll show you guys later. But it's really it's in the bottom, not in the top. The PCI X16 slot, the blue one right there, and will not fit. Like example, show you guys other video card. I'll show you this video card right here. The GeForce GT730 will not fit because uh, the heatsink is too big. It will not fit. It's more than an inch, and will not fit. But this one will fit because it's half an inch right here. So just let you guys know because they do make a low profile video card on the GT. 
GeForce GT 730 but the heatsink is too wide, it will not fit. So uh, you can go with uh, either uh, ATI Radeon, uh, AMD Radeon HD 7570 or they make the AMD Radeon HD 8570 low profile video card too with low profile bracket work perfectly fine. So let me show you guys how to install that. So we're going to remove right here the clip and remove the PCI bracket. It's low profile right here and install it right into the PCI X16 slot, the blue slot, the bottom one. And if you guys are going to be using for gaming, I just go with the mini tower because the power supply in here is a maximum of 180 watt. So, so it's a 180 watt power supply. The video card is low power consumption. And uh, you see the heat, the heat sink barely fits. See there's not enough space in the bottom. So any other wider video card with the heat sink will not fit. So that's what the problem is. But uh, this video card, the AMD Radeon HD 857 will fit also. But the video card like this one, you see this one? This is a lot wider, thicker heat sink and it will not fit. It's blocking it. So it's not going to work. So you guys, I'll show you how to do that. And let's go ahead and install back the... Let's install this back and you're gonna close this up right here for the PCI bracket lock right there we install the video card now we're gonna install back the solo state drive in here the bracket piece of the, the caddy here like that and connect the SATA and power just like that now we're going to install back the front cover bezel really easy. Clips right in, be really, so clip it that back in. Now, so guys, this is what we upgraded. We upgraded the memory DDR3 1600 uh, 90 cc and buffer. Go with the e Kingston, Crucial, or Carcer. Those are the top three brands I like. So we upgraded the video card, AMD Radeon HD 7570, but you can go uh, 8570 if you want, low profile with the low profile bracket. And uh, we upgraded from the hard drive to solid state drive. And let's go ahead and close the side. And what you're gonna, is gonna do is you're gonna go to amd.com website, uh, AMD Radeon, uh, amd.com and get the latest drivers for the video card. And then connect the monitor right here to the video card. And what you're gonna do is uh, restart the computer when you install the drivers for the video card and to, to video card to work properly. So you get the drivers from amd.com and choose which operating system you have or either 32 or 64 bit and install the drivers for the video card and restart the computer and collect the, uh, make sure you connect the view monitor directly to the video card. So yeah guys, let me go and close the side cover panel. That's it. So yeah guys, uh, thanks for watching, bye.